I was in Turkey recently, and I met some people that are now part of the administration, the government, and I met a historian, very interesting lady. And she was telling me the story of her grandmother. Her grandmother was at a time when the, the regime change had just happened from an Islamic government to a, an extreme secularist government. And she used to be a higher up figure in education, a chancellor of education. And this woman, when the government changed, she was told, you need to take your hijab off. Um, and she said, no, I won't. So what they have in the government office building, in the education building, they have the people that are up top in the administration, their pictures in the first row, the teaching staff in the second row, the teacher's assistants in the third row, the janitorial staff in the bottom row. They said, you can keep your job, you can keep the hijab, but you will be considered part of the janitorial staff. And they moved her picture down because they wanted anybody with a beard or a hijab to be in the janitorial staff officially. And she got paid a janitor's salary even though she served in that. They didn't have anybody to replace her. She was so qualified. So they had to keep her in her job, but officially they had to let everybody know, if you're gonna look like this, then you are officially a janitor. That's what you're gonna be. And that's how they kept her. And then they had, and she even told stories of literally entire mobs of people going door to door, burning every copy of the Quran that can be found. Burning, in Turkey. This happened within the last century. And when that happened, her grandmother hid one copy of the Quran in a barn they used to have in the back. Okay, they had a garden in a barn where they had the animals and it smells bad. She hid it under a stack of hay. And she used to have to go into that barn to recite Qur'an and contemplate on the Qur'an hours on end. And she would only come out when the smell would be so much that she had to throw up. And she'd come out and go back into that barn around all the animal feces and recite that mushaf. And she says, I still have that mushaf but I, for my grandmother, but I have to keep it inside a plastic bag. Because when I open it, the entire house is full of stench. It still has the animal smells on it. When I heard that story, sitting there from this lady, I said, we don't have any problems. We're okay. We're gonna be fine. You know, on the one hand, you start thinking that we are overwhelmed by troubles. But the Ummah has gone through a lot. Muslims have gone through a lot. We should be grateful for what opportunities we have been given. Things have been a lot worse. Forget things were a lot worse in the age of the Tatars. Or things were a lot worse like way back when. Things were a lot worse even a few decades ago. Even a few decades ago. 